we just we were like we can't leave in October like it was that weird thing of like you wanted to feel a little bit more connected a little bit longer right. so we didn't leave until January 02 and that's when we moved out here and we had very little but I did get a did you drive we did drive nice I did get um, a manager before I left New York because I had done a one woman show that I took to Aspen that Amy, oh, that's that great. Amy Poehler directed oh that's amazing and her manager who I think is still her manager was he's a big manager at three arts we are not together anymore but not for anything other than he's way too big for me and always was was Dave Becky okay so he helped me get an agent out here and then it became a series of like auditioning and you know I wasn't a regular pilot booker by any chance that was when John booked the first pilot he ever right got right and then it took me a while to adjust to LA yeah um, it was three years before the UCB theater opened. So we got here in 2002. Oh, so you didn't have a home or no, anything? No, but you know, I used to be really upset about that. It used to feel, well, why? well, it used to feel like, oh my God, we left our home base. Right. And, and the home base is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Right. I mean, they just put a new theater in the Gristides and right. it's just big. And, and I remember thinking how lost and lonely it all felt. And then the UCB theater came out in 2005 and we helped build it. But those three years, when I look back now, were so valuable because I remember Danielle Schneider and I crawling around doing stand up. I wasn't a stand up. Right. We wound up trying to do stand up at like every open mic we could find. Just to find like an outlet? Yep. We did. We did. We went to IO. I took, I, I took an intro course at Groundlings. Oh, did I take the course? No, I auditioned at Groundlings and then I was like, ah, I can't go back to the beginning again. I was teaching at UCB. I right. just felt too much pride about it, which right. I wish I hadn't. But yeah, that's a tough thing regardless, to I made friends at the Groundlings. I made friends in the comedy community at Improv Olympic. I made friends in the stand-up world. I became like a little comedy rat. That's great. And the truth is, is that like, by the time the UCB theater came out here, there was this giant exodus from New York. And as much as I loved seeing all those guys and I was glad to be back together again... I noticed that over the years, like they've really just kind of stayed in their in their bubble in a lot of ways. Right. And I don't say that as a critique. I'm just so grateful that like I know I feel like I know people from every comedy world out here because of those three years. Like, Absolutely. I, I, well, she I, mentioned Shane Nickerson. He was an I.O. guy, yeah, right? He was yeah. an I.O. guy. Yeah. I used to perform at the musical with him all the time. Oh, opening night. Yes. I used oh, to do the opening God. night all the time. And then I was I, I would I get invited to do groundling shows all the time. That's because amazing. Like, I did Crazy Uncle Joe's and I just did the children's show over there. Like because I had those three years to like. That's great. And I, I think that's something that I would advise people. That's something improv. I struggle with. You should it's do. like if you want to be in an, a UCB Herald team, you have to be at UCB. 24 hours a day. You just have to be. Well, you have to be in the minds. Then you the- take the 25th hour and you go to another place <laughs> because you know what I'm saying? It's like, or well, I, I split the 24 hours. I do like 12 at IO and 12. But that's what I'm saying. Well, that's great. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think a lot of people got it into their heads that they could only be in their one spot. And maybe I would have thought that if I hadn't been forced out. of Right. It. But I feel so lucky because I just feel like I know so many more people and it's just been such a boon for me in terms of career right in terms of the, that networking thing that happens almost by accident without right. the business card shoving and all that stuff oh totally so in a lot of ways it's like that's part of the reason that i've been able to work consistently is because i was able to diversify the groups of people that yeah. i did my comedy for and with yeah it's a great way to look at it yeah 